Hello, everybody. We are live. We are live. It is a Thursday news drop. We are live with breaking news and hot topics. Thank you for tuning in. Why don't we turn this down and why don't we cue the intro? Thank y'all for tuning in. Love you, love you, love you. Let's go. As soon as we get the music, we can start. <laughs> oh, okay. There we go. Thank y'all for tuning in. This was not, we don't normally go live on Thursday mornings um, or Thursday afternoon unless we have, um, you know, a special show. So Thursday is just odd. It feels odd being on, on a Thursday morning. But uh, I told y'all that I was going to um, come on, um, you know, uh, today if I could. And I can. So thank y'all for tuning in. Uh, my eyes are a lot better, y'all. Man, they were on fire yesterday. I don't know what I, what's for lunch? Um, probably one of them airplane dinners. You know, I'm going to stop calling them airplane dinners, y'all. I'm going to stop being disrespectful. I'm probably going to have a factor lunch. <laughs> I'm going to stop calling them airplane. Let me say something, baby. That damn, that pork chop and that chicken breast. Oh my God. Oh, try factor, y'all. Try factor. Mm, mm. Factor underscore, okay? That 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 um pork chop and that damn chicken breast are not to be toyed with. I promise you. Um, but yeah, my eyes are a I can actually open them up today. <laughs> Listen, whenever we have a wind event, whenever we have any type of wind, it just blows all kind of stuff into the city. Tie squad, uh, isn't it nice not to have a cooking crush each day in Cleveland? That is a really good feeling too. Pop it in the microwave. It's refrigerated, so you ain't got to even thaw it out. So, you know. Um, so, yeah, that is a good feeling. Okay, Ty Squad, we have a lot of breaking news today. We got a lot of breaking news. We had a really monumental um, transition today. Um, oh, before I get, well, mm, I'll get to that in a minute. Y'all know OJ Simpson passed. Okay, so um, I forgot, Ty Squad, I was supposed to, address this. I talked about it in Patreon, remember? And I said I was going to talk about it publicly. And, you know, we have a lot of trans people here uh, in the bushes and, you know, publicly uh, on the official Thais report. So um, there were a few Thais squad members that were um, uh, offended, a little offended um, by Larry Reed's video about transgender versus women and all of that. I talked about it on Tuesday. I was supposed to talk about it on Wednesday, but I don't know what happened. Okay. Um, what happened yesterday? Oh, the internet and all that stuff was down. Got it. Okay. So um, 
I, I talked, I, I made a, a, a statement in Patreon Top Squad, and I'll make, a, a, you know, the same statement here. And that is that most women, most biological women, we don't use cisgender, but most biological women do not mind sharing the womanhood space with trans women. They don't. They're, they, they will tell you their womanhood is not threatened by trans women, uh, trans people. And so, um, yeah, it's just like, I just think we just need a lot of enlightenment around transgender issues, right? It, it's like we, a lot of black people, <laughs> we, we really don't have a lot of knowledge on it. And so we, we base our conversations and narratives off of what we see on the internet. And we react to stuff that we see on TikTok. And nobody, thank you so much. And nobody has took the time to try to understand. And when you come from the traditional black church, when you come from, you know, that paradigm, you, you're already at a disadvantage because they barely acknowledge or recognize or affirm any gay person. And so transgender people are even more marginalized. So it, it doesn't take much to reach out and try to understand um, so that you're not coming from a place of a lack of understanding or lack of knowledge. Like, And let me say this, knowing one trans person is not enough. Knowing one trans person is just not enough. A lot of people do that. I have a black friend. Your one black friend does not encompass the whole, you know, black experience. We're not a monolith. So again, uh, it doesn't take much, y'all, to get to know people, understand people, understand their struggles, because the trans community is one of the most marginalized communities out there. And it don't take much just to get some information, okay? All right, all right, got that done. Um, that's why OJ Simpson is gone. OJ Simpson has taken flight, that's why. And, um, as polarizing as his um as polarizing as his trial was his his death is even more polarizing i think it doesn't it, it doesn't take much to say rest in peace i was looking over in patreon you got people that say rest in peace and yes yeah, somebody you know <laughs> say good you know but it don't take much time to simply say rest in peace or you know Godspeed. Hell, you can even say, may the Lord have mercy on your soul. But these people, oh my God, y'all. Like, and then some of these people are, are, are proclaiming to be Christians. Like somebody died. I mean, my mother's always say, if you ain't got nothing good to say, don't say nothing at all. You know. Uh, when Joan Crawford, the great actress, Joan Crawford died. She had a long feud with Betty Davis, another great actress. So when Joan Crawford died, Betty Davis said, you should never say anything bad about the dead. So I'll say Joan Crawford is dead. Good. <laughs> it's like, come on, y'all. Like, y'all know what I'm talking about, Time Squad. Listen, you ain't got to like the man. You ain't got to go to the homegoing service, but damn, y'all. You know, but yeah, Betty Davis said, Joan Crawford is dead. Good. That That's just like, that's, just, that's you know, okay. Okay, so you don't have to like the person. But like I said, Ty Squad, O.J. Simpson was polarizing in life. We know he was going to be polarizing in death, right? You, you don't rejoice in stuff like that, y'all. But these a lot of these people probably, and they're mostly... They're mostly Caucasian on these threads. And, um, you know, listen, O.J. Simpson is not on my Christmas card list. He was a, a like an all-American uh, hero, you know what I'm saying, and strikingly handsome and, um, you know, rose to fame and, you know, Heisman Trophy winner and all of this stuff. He was an athlete. You know, around the time, Ty Squad, when I was coming um, uh, 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 up, well, he was, he played with the Buffalo Bills and 
Whew. And then see, then see, do, 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 do. Yeah, I would say, you know, yeah, he was still playing when I was a kid. I think he was. Um, let me pull up his bio because I remember, I vividly remember. Hold on one second. Let me get the dates, Taswad. Because I know I'm not that damn old, but I ain't that young either. Okay, wait a minute. Let me see. Uh, let me get the date. Uh, well, maybe. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. Do, 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 do. Okay, well, I remember him as a football player. <laughs> wait. Okay, so he played with the Buffalo Bills from 69 to 77 and the San Francisco 49ers from 78 to 79. Mm. Oh, okay. Well, listen, I was, how old was I? 79. 79, I was like three. Okay. I don't know. I remember OJ Simpson as a football player. I remember. Okay. <laughs> now, what I do remember vividly as a child was him running through the airport. I didn't know why he was running. You know, like, why is he running to the airport? But, you know, he changed the game because there were not a lot of black men that were, you know, lead spokespersons for these ads. They were not. I, I'm telling you, I, I can't remember many that were lead spokespersons uh, or, you know, had these ads. And he was, you know, one of the first. He changed the game for, you know, I would say corporate sponsorships and stuff like that. Um, yeah, yeah. We're going to get to that, Joshua. We're going to get to that right now. But I remember those commercials, Time Squad, and they were very, very, you know, like, oh, my God, a black man running through the airport trying to catch his flight. Or Okay, but, you know, I think that there was a lot about OJ that was, um, and maybe it was his upbringing, maybe it was just something he personally, you know, went through, but he just seemed very detached. He seemed very detached from his culture and his race. And like one of the points where I say, you know, I'm good is when he said, you know, um, I'm not black, I'm OJ. And I was like, okay, okay, I know what we're working with here. He said, I'm not black, I'm OJ. That's fine, if you wanna be OJ, you, 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 you know, you don't wanna be black, that's fine. But, you know, a lot of people are, de are detached from their culture and their roots. You know what I'm saying? But y'all, we're gonna fast forward because hey, this ain't um, this ain't A and E. Uh, we're gonna fast forward. But then you have the the trial of the century, and you know, I'm I'm sorry, but this was a this was not a trial about the crime. In my overarching, it was about a black man unaliving a white woman, and he was acquitted, Time Squad. And I believe, because I watched the trial, me and my mother, my, we all watched it. And I, I I just believe that if the LAPD had not bungled this case and just gave reasonable doubt to the jury on a silver platter, he may have been convicted. But even with that, I say Johnny Cochran was such a skilled criminal attorney Marsha Clark and Christopher Darden had no clue. They were just, you know, baby, this is not what you want. <laughs> so, but Tyswad, that case opened up uh, um, some wounds. Um, and many of the wounds, honey, were not even closed, but the case opened up race in America. And every time it happens, we never address it. We just argue back and forth, Time Squad. We argue, we pick our sides, and then it goes away, and then we move back on. But Johnny was nothing to play with. Uh, he was a master attorney, litigator, um, and, you know, he gave OJ a win. In the city of Los Angeles, they never recovered from that, from that trial wound. Like, uh, Marsha Clark, Christopher Darden, everybody was, you know, leaving, retiring. They never recovered. <laughs> and I'm talking about from a from a PR standpoint, like, damn, this was the trial of the century. And y'all, people was retiring, people was leaving, people was going into private practice. It was embarrassing for the city of Los Angeles, right? Um, so good morning, Ray. 
So I, I think the late the late comedian Paul Mooney said it best, Ty Squad. He said it masterfully. We were not rooting for OJ. We didn't give a damn about OJ. We were rooting for the fact that Johnny Cochran beat the system and, and, and got a black man off. That's what a lot of people was cheering for. We, a lot of us didn't give a damn about damn OJ because he didn't give a damn about us. Mm-hmm. Mm. Even the yeah, Judge Edo, people was like, people was hitting it. What were they doing? What were you doing? To, we watched the Bronco chase live on the air. Like a lot of people, we watched it live on the air, and I was like, okay. And um, that's why I'm not gonna get into I'm not gonna get into no debate on did he do it? What you think, mother? I mean, listen, we watched that trial, we all saw all of the evidence, and um child, oh I'll say this, who else did it? <laughs> An acquittal does not mean him being acquitted doesn't necessarily mean he didn't do it. It just means that he had got some really good representation to beat that <laughs> to beat that charge. There are a lot of people that were acquitted that we still have like, girl, y'all know, but I have to look at it like this also, Ty Squad. Unfortunately, what if he didn't do it? People are online right now talking about, well, you're getting ready to talk to the man. You're getting ready to answer. But what if he did not do it? People just assume, you know, but listen, y'all, right? Come on now. Cut on your finger. Kato heard the, a knock on the air conditioner. You know, the Bronco comes back at a certain time. You know, um, I miss Paul Mooney too. Um, hold on a second, Time Squad. Police conveniently planning evidence. I mean, they were talking about the blood splatter evidence, how when blood drops naturally, it drops. But when drug, when 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 blood is planted, it has a different type of elongation on it. It was a, the LAPD bungled this case. And then Mark Furman using the N, oh, child, using the N word. No, 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 no. Y'all handed, y'all handed this case to the jury. With a big reasonable, a reasonable doubt burger, you know. So at the end of the day, um, well, it doesn't. Did I put the um not lock the gate? I did not lock the gate, nor did I monetize this video. I can do it afterwards, but honey, I can't trust these girls and these people coming up in here. Oh my god, Tasquad, hold on a second. I did not, nor did I monetize this video. I can do it right now. Hold on one second. It's okay. It's all right. I didn't monetize or child just trying to, you know, break the news. I'm trying to rush to get back here and hold on one second, Tom Squad. I got to go into the YouTube studio. I know some people are just happy. Oh, no commercials. You finna get some commercials now. <laughs> oh, good. No commercial. Man, I don't know how I forgot to do this, Tom Squad. Hold on one second. Testing one, two, three. Testing. Can y'all still hear me, Tom Squad? I'm coming. I know some people talking about, oh, good. Ain't no commercial. You finna get some now. You finna get some Instacart in your life. Mm -hmm. You finna get some Dove soap in your life. Hold on one second. Uh, it be the people that don't pay nothing, ain't donated, ain't joined Patreon, ain't got no membership to all these commercials. Girl, this ain't damn uh, 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 um, PBS. I have to, I have to uh, pay rent here. Shit. Don't give a dime. Don't donate it. Don't super chat. Oh, these commercials, mother. Girl. Oh, wait a minute. There we go. Uh-huh. Got that. Uh-huh. Then let's go over here. Hold on, y'all. I'm in the YouTube studio. Hey, everybody. How y'all doing over here in the YouTube studio? Hey, YouTube. Hey, will the checks be on time? Will the checks be on time on the 21st? Okay, good. Hey, thank you, thank you. Wait a minute, what? Oh, shit, the 21st is on a Sunday. Ain't that about a bit? Oh, man, the 21st is on a damn Sunday. Ain't this about a... Okay, it's okay. They'll come the next day, the 22nd. Girl, ain't that... 
I hate when the 21st fall on a Saturday or a Sunday. Okay, hold on one second. There we go. Okay, I think we got the commercials. We got all this stuff advertised and stuff. Uh, okay, can somebody... Okay, can somebody tell me if they see a commercial? Uh-huh. Uh, I know that's correct. Pay me. Uh, they watch They watch Tubi. I'm waiting for Faye Rizzi to do her interviews now that they're about to all come out the woodworks. Yeah. Well, you know, what's his name? Um, Tim Lane. Um, they asked him a question about it today. And he told me, uh, I simply don't care. Like, sir, all you had to say was, you know, no comment. You know, we all see commercials at different times. We do. You do. Okay, let us know if you see a commercial. Let me know if my commercial's kicked in. Uh, can somebody let me know the, uh, no commercial yet? Okay. I don't know if it kicks in if I do it midway through the show. Can somebody let me know when they see a commercial? Because uh, we got to figure out what's going on with this cash. So everybody, you know, probably on, you know, different shows, you know, different news shows, Ty Squad. Um, you know, talking about OJ and race in America. Ain't nobody gonna do no real work. A lot of people, um, Daryl don't and Sean don't get commercials because they have YouTube premium, right? Every people they don't want to pay for YouTube premium, they don't want a cash app, they don't want a super chat, Patreon, or have a membership and complain about commercials. Girl, this is not PBS, this is not public access. This is the Thai East Report. Welcome to the Players Club. I don't get commercials either. I pay $14.99 a month, and this is it's worth it. You know what I'm saying? OJ is gone, Ty Squad. OJ is gone. Um, did these people ever get the money? No. He moved to Florida, which is a civil judgment haven. <laughs> he moved to Florida. You know, um, I think they got his trophy, and um, the father, Fred Goldman, broke it with a sledgehammer. Um, they got a few little things, but, you know, um, they did win a civil judgment over in Santa Monica um, years ago, and uh, I believe it was $10 million or something like that, but they didn't get a dime. They didn't get anything. Hey, Diggs is stripping in uh, commercials right now. Is he? Did we get a commercial yet, Ty Squad? Let's see how this reading goes. Let's see how this wheel reading goes. Well, he was surrounded by his children. Uh, all his children are gone now. He had two by his first wife. Then he had two more by Nicole. Um, Y'all, it's a lot we can say. Like, you know, if he did do it, how could you do that to the mother of your children? Well, listen, I don't know. I never unalive nobody. I don't know how that mindset works. Good afternoon, YGB. Um, y'all let me know when y'all see a commercial. Yes, there are commercials. Good. Good to watch them. Yes, there are commercials down. Good. We'll get a little cash coming in here now, a little cash flow. But yeah, OJ Simpson um, has transitioned at the age of, how old was he, baby? 76. We do have a statement from the family. One moment. We do have a statement from the family. Can we get, um, can we get the statement from the family? Wait a minute, wait a minute, let me see what's going on. Uh, okay, here we go. April uh, On April 10th, our father, Orenthal James Simpson, succumbed to his battle with cancer. He was surrounded by his children and grandchildren. During this time of transition, his family asked that you please respect their wishes for privacy and grace, the Simpson family. They're asking for privacy and grace, Ty Squad. That's not a lot to ask for. Mm-hmm. Arnthal James Simpson was an American football running back, Ty Squad, actor, and broadcaster. He played in the NFL for 11 seasons, primarily with the Buffalo Bills, and is regarded as one of the greatest running backs of all time. Once a popular figure with, American, with the American public, Simpson's professional um, success was later overshadowed by his trial and controversial acquittal for the unalivings of his former wife, Nicole Brown, and her friend, Ron Goldman, in 1994. On May 23rd, 2023, excuse me. Okay, they need to correct that. I'll correct it. Okay, I'll correct it on my end, but they need to correct that. That should say, in May of 2023, 
OJ Simpson reported that he had been diagnosed with cancer and assumed that he would beat it. In February of this year, it was reported that Simpson was undergoing treatment for prostate cancer. Now, I remember he was in the car during the Super Bowl weekend and, you know, rumors were that he had passed away and he was like, I'm fine. That was in February. Let me say this. We have a lot of men dying from prostate cancer, black men. And um, we got a lot of black men that were, he still got his pension, uh, Ray. They couldn't, the Goldmans couldn't touch his pension. He still got his NFL pension. So uh, I'm sure he'll be okay. Um, we got to get clear on this prostate cancer time squad. And this is, um, you know, a lot of this is treatable, you know, but a lot of men don't want to have rectal exams. They don't. You know, they try to do a barbershop series about it. That didn't really do nothing. They don't, they don't want rectal exams, right? Love you, sis. And, um, you know, colonoscopies and things and stuff like that. So, this is what happens when you don't have regular colonoscopies and regular prostate exams. You know, you already know the mainstream media will be retrying the case. Okay, Cheryl. So it's just a simple, they take the finger, put it up in there, and, you know, they go around the prostate. You know, just, you know they can tell by just feeling it. You know, a lot of men, <laughs> a lot of men don't want to be aroused by that because that can't arouse you, you know, and so they don't want that feeling of arousal. They don't want that feeling at all. But the feeling of prostate cancer and, you know, that is horrible or even colorectal cancer, which is popular in, in our community as well. I wouldn't say popular, but prevalent in our community. Okay? They just stick the finger in there. They go around the prostate. They look for stuff, and that's it. You know? It's nothing to it. Okay. <laughs> I'm not laughing. I got a few of the stories of the daytime squad. Then I'm out of here. We're live this evening. We're down at the church, that's why. We have a special show tonight, so um, keep your notifications on. Don't sit... Don't reset your notifications, but we are live today with a special episode of Down at the Church, if that's all right. Okay, y'all. Um, pick and save the pick and save CEO um, and the former. Wait a minute, let me get this correct because this don't make sense to me. Wait a minute. Okay, hold on. I don't understand. Pick and save. Do 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 do. do. Um, mm -hmm. okay. So the pick and save, uh, do, 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 CEO wants to try to save the 99 cent store. Okay. Well, listen, baby, listen. Uh, oh, here it is. Mark J. Miller, CEO of pick and save bargains. And the former president of Big Lots. Okay, I thought Big Lots, I thought Pick and Save turned into Big Lots. So how are you the CEO of Pick and Save Bargains and the former president of Big Lots? Okay, I'm not trying to figure this out. Um, this is from KABC7 right here in Los Angeles. Uh, Mark J. Miller, CEO of Pick and Save Bargains and former president of Big Lots is hoping to save the discount chain after the company announced it was closing. Okay, so he wants to save with Ty Squad. We need to figure out from all the Ty Squad members on the West Coast. Um, you got 99 cent stores in California, Texas, Arizona, and Nevada. Do y'all want the store saved? I'm saying close it up. Just close it up. Do y'all want the store saved? Or are y'all, what do y'all want to do? Because, um, sir, don't waste your money. You know. What are we doing, Ty Squad? I need to find out for the Ty Squad. Close it up or what? Uh, last time I went, I was disappointed. No finger. <laughs> Do you get a happy ending?
Um, woman of God, did you ever, woman of God, did you ever give us that social media contact for yourself? Do you have social media? We never got the social media handle for you. Uh, we try to figure out a woman of God. Did you ever give us a social media handle on you? Instagram, Facebook, any type of contact information on you so we can get to know you a little bit better, woman of God. Uh huh. Did you ever give us that contact info or no? Um, all right. Yes, drop your, yeah, drop your social media, woman of God. Get that to us ASAP. Any type of contact information we have on you. Or we, you know, or we can, you can give it to us voluntarily or we can just, go, we'll just go ahead and do it ourselves. Um, Keep the stores if they can, if it also calls for low, the low income. I don't know. I'm just saying right now, little friends, just close it up. Close that shit up. Close it up. Uh-huh. They already messed the Dollar Tree up. Close that shit up if they have to, uh, Crystal. Uh, where they file, uh, where they file key at. This is my social media. I like my anonymity, beloved. Hold on one second. How much did you, um, how much did you pay over, how much did you pay on, did you pay for the year on, 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 because I know you over on, hold on one second. How much did you pay? How much did you pay over there on um, Patreon? Did you pay for the month of the year? <laughs> Girl, hold on one second. Just let me know how much did you pay? Did you pay for the month or the year? I know you over there. Let me see. Hold on one second, baby. Hold on. Woman of God, I think I've seen you on Patreon. Oh, there you are. Oh, you paid for the month. You paid five dollars on March March nineteenth. Oh, okay. Okay, so Tosh Squad, back to what we were saying. Don't worry about it. Don't trip. <laughs> okay, so I'm new, and this is a trial period. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. Don't worry about it. Okay, I got you right there, Woman of God. You paid five dollars on March nineteenth. Don't trip. Okay, Tosh Squad, let's get back to let's get back to um uh our story. Uh what we at? Pick and say big lots. I don't know. I, I just don't know, Tosh Squad. I don't know if this is gonna work. Um maybe y'all should uh y'all should have went online, had the 99 sister online or something. I, I don't know what to say. But we gotta move on. We gotta move on. Um Van Cleef and our pails. Now listen, y'all. Honey, you don't even step up in here unless you got at least a hundred thousand dollars liquid in your account, right? <laughs> liquid. Van Cleef and Arpels, Ty Squad, um, is asking, and you know they're asking very nicely, Ty Squad, very nicely. They they wired one hundred and fifty thousand dollars to the wrong customer, and they're asking as an honor system. You know, Ty Squad, is it possible that you can give it back because they're suing? Okay, they wired $150,000 to the wrong customer. I mean, listen, you know, you can sue, but a lot of times people, you know, will take that money and hit it. $150,000? That's why I tell people on Cash App, check the Cash App, you know, because. My name is T-Y-E-S-S-E. Y'all -S -S -E. always putting two E's. Huh? Are you giving it back to us? Why the <laughs> Cash App will tell you. All of them tell you, check the name. Check the name. Girl. I, I don't even know if there's a criminal statute around wiring the wrong money to somebody. You can sue civilly but i don't know if that i don't know if there's any criminality around that that's on you you know let me get let me see let me put up the story ty squad uh wait a minute 
Wait a minute, let me see something. Van Cleef and what them people call Van Cleef and Arpaio, girl. Van Cleef. Uh-huh, Van Cleef and Arpaio. This is from TMZ. <clears throat> what we got here? Let me see. Uh, Van Cleef and Arpaio, oops, wired. Okay, $150,000 wired to the wrong person. The jeweler sues to get it back. Van Cleef and Arpels is about to see if take backs are allowed in court because the luxury brand wants $150,000 back from a mystery person it accidentally blessed with that dough. <clears throat> Let me clear my throat because I should have had some tea. What a mystery person it accidentally blessed with that dough. According to legal documents obtained by TMZ, the jewelry company with a famous Rodeo Drive storefront is suing unknown defendants. Well, how are y'all suing them if they're unknown? For the money it says it mistakenly sent. As one famous Rodeo Drive shopper once put, big mistake, big, huge. And the docs, Van Cleef and Arpels admit it accidentally transferred $150,000 to an account on May 2nd, 2023. But says since then, despite best efforts, the defendant won't respond. Duh! <laughs> or send the back, send back the money. Van Cleef and Arpels is suing for the full amount. Mind you, the lawyers don't even know the name or names of who's currently holding the bag. They've sued Jane and Joan Doe's because they haven't been able to get the real name. Okay, I'm sorry, y'all. This, I'm sorry. You don't even know who the money went to? You're suing a John and a Jane Doe? You probably just have their wire transfer number. Back in the day, the girls used to do a lot of roots and stunts uh, with, with, um, with Western Union uh, at the casinos back in the day, honey. So, yeah, listen. Um, not me, but the other girls. Okay, I never, I never, because that was federal. I didn't play with the, you know, uh -huh. okay. Um, they sued Jane and John, John Doe's because they haven't been able to get the real names. Of course, one hundred and fifty dollars, one hundred and fifty thousand dollars isn't a make or break. Van Cleef sells jewelry items that cost five or six times that amount, uh, but they're not willing to let this six-figure sum go. You're going to have to let this one go. Uh, Y'all got all that high-ass overpriced jewelry in there? The cash app tells you and before you send it, are you sure? And then you have to, yeah, you know this person? Somebody just sent me down $25. Linda, uh, Linda King. Are you in the audience, Linda King? Uh, was it for me? <laughs> Some lady named Linda King just sent me $25. Want to make sure it's her. Linda King, are you in the audience? Uh, do anybody know Linda King? We have to do it like we at the uh, social service office. Linda King? Linda King. <laughs> we got to do it like we at the social service building. Linda King? You didn't spend that money, child. Send me $150,000. And y'all don't have nothing to trace my address to. Child, listen. That's like they say, what if you find an envelope full of money in the church parking lot? Hell, they ripping off the saints? Shoot. Mm. We ain't got shit to do with it. It's on you. You assume responsibility that you verified this name. We uh, Wouldn't the wire info be connected to a name that they can verify by the bank? A lot of banks, quiet as kept. If if it's a situation where it's a private seller and a and a, and a and a citizen, a lot of times they're not at liberty if there's a transaction where there's no information attached to it. You can't contact the bank or contact whoever the, the, the wire transfer is from and say, we need all the information. We're trying to sue them. Because now the bank is going to be involved in the litigation. So they ain't going to just volunteer no damn name up like, Oh, yeah, we know it's Susie Jones. She over there. Okay, now you finna get a subpoena to Bank of America or whoever the financial institution is. So, y'all, it's a really crazy experience. You know, it's a really crazy experience. 
I don't know. I don't know. We got two more stories, and I got to give me something to eat. I got two more stories, honey. And then mother got to go, because this is too much on me. Y'all keep me lifted. Uh, OJ then went home. OJ then went to a place where he can sit down. I'm going to a place where there'll be no more crying. All of my troubles will be over when I get there. I'm going to a place where I can sit down, chickadee. I'm going, wait a minute. We had two stories. Where are they at? Okay, we got the Walmart class action, and then we have the Denver Nuggets player. Oh, that may have been over there. Wait a minute. We got the, well, let's do the Walmart class action. Okay, Ty Squad. Um, Walmart may owe you $500 from a $45 million class action settlement. Uh, okay, we're supposed to give you how to claim the money. Okay. <laughs> Don't you just love the official Ty East report? Shoppers who bought weighted products at Walmart could be due as much as $500 as a part of a $45 million class action settlement uh, by the mega retailer. Like, if you went and got some onions, Tasqua, if you got the onions and then you put them on the little scale and stuff. Listen, I think they've always thought them scales was rigged. How many people think them scales be rigged? Or they're not adjusted right, Tasqua. How many of y'all think, girl, this don't look like four pounds? Anyways, um, the lawsuit filed in 2022 claims Walmart uses unfair and deceptive business practice practices and deceivingly, misleadingly, and unjustly pilfer to Walmart's financial benefit. It's customers' hard-earned grocery dollars. These unfair practices have to do with customers overpaying for certain weighted grocery items, including meat, seafood and bag citrus i know for a fact sometimes you get a pack of chicken wings and they talk about it, it's four pounds inside and it'd be like two wings <laughs> it'd be like three wings and you're like well, how is this four pounds uh if i send you this this means they went to a place they went to a place where he can sit down uh, Y'all remember that? That was from um, Laverne and Shirley when Laverne was on death row and they sung, I'm going to a place. Mm -hmm. um, they're not adjusted right. Bunch of crooks. Yeah. Now, when I worked when I worked in mail services, um, the because we dealt with a lot of weighing packages, every now and then, like every quarter, a guy would come in from the Weights and Measurements Bureau and he would adjust and, you know, check our scales out. So I think that, you know, that is, um, uh, thank you, Lahoma Bennett, for your $5. There's a lot of people uh, sending cash apps, and we don't know who these people are, that's why. We got, uh, who was that other person? Wait a minute, hold on one second. We got uh, Linda, and these people are not saying that in the chat. We would love to uh, acknowledge you. Now, who we got here? We got, uh, I don't know. We got Lahoma Bennett, and then we got Linda King. And they both got profile pictures of beautiful black women. Uh, she sent $5 for the laughs you always make my day. Oh, thank you, Lahoma Bennett. Thank you so much. And then we got uh, uh, Linda King, beautiful sister. Uh, she sent $25. We don't know these people, but we would love to, uh, you know, get to meet you and stop. Okay. Uh, hey, Mother Brown, where do I sign up? I don't know where you sign up, Ty Squad. Hold on, let me find out what's going on first. Uh, what's going on with these chicken wings and these damn oxtail packs? Uh, okay. Specifically, the lawsuit accuses Walmart of falsely inflating product weight mislabeling the weight of bad produce and overcharging for sold by weight clearance products. Practices that seemingly go against Walmart's mission to save people money. Yeah, you can't have a title like that and you're ripping people off. Those are real strong black woman names. Linda, uh -huh, and all that. Uh, Walmart, listen, I'm gonna go over there and sign up. I'm gonna go, I'm sorry, Walmart, you know. Y'all close the Crenshaw Walmart down. Y'all close the Long Beach Walmart down. And so I don't really go to Walmart unless I do it online. Um, thank you, Emmanuel. I'm going to go ahead because, listen, 
when my sister was was when my sister was living in Ariel, uh, we went every Saturday to Walmart, the Torrance, and we went to Southgate. You know what I'm saying? But now that she's gone, it you know I don't know. Now that Ariel is gone, I don't you know. Today is April 11th. Today is the day that my mother passed away. Um, my mother passed away 29 years ago today. Um, what was I going to say? I think, <clears throat> I think this is what it feels like when you have healed and your heart is all right. Like, because I, there's no sadness attached to it anymore. And today is the day she passed away at 5 15 in the morning. And, um, I, I just don't, I, there was a time when it was a very melancholy day, but now there's a peace attached to it. And I can get up and start my day without solemnness and melancholy and all that, you know, so I think I I really got to a place. Now my brother is still fresh, but uh, my brother is still fresh. But mother, I'm okay. I'm okay. Yeah, I'm okay. And I do. That doesn't mean I don't miss her. And that don't mean today is not a a sentimental day. But I'm not actively sitting in that. If if you understand what I'm talking about, Todd's why. Okay. Um. Okay, so we got breaking news. Okay, um, thank you, Kim Sims. We got some breaking news here, Ty Spy. Why don't we just jump right into it? Uh, this is the official Ty East report. Um, and we, 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 even if we're doing a news drop or we're doing a lighthearted show, we do make room for breaking news. We do have breaking news uh, here. We don't have the breaking news graphic on this channel. No worries, no worries. Well, okay. Okay, um, Delta, there's been a, 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 an emergency. A Delta flight from Rome to Atlanta is declaring an emergency right now. Um, okay, Delta flight DL67 departed Rome at uh, 1216 CEST time um, to Atlanta. Okay, okay, the crew... Squawk 7700, general emergency, over west of France while cruising at 33,000 feet. The flight is operated by, M okay, first of all, France to Atlanta. That means you're going to be over that water. I'm glad that they, 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 over west France, can you imagine if they declared this emergency over the Atlantic Ocean? I would just die before we even hit the ground. I'm sorry. I would just, I, I just, I, can you imagine over the Atlantic Ocean and they said we have an emergency? Where are we going to go? Where are we going to land? That's why I, I can't. That's why I, I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to travel internationally. Okay. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. Um, the flight is operated by an Airbus A330-900 with a total capacity of 281 passengers, Todd Squad. Mm. Okay, so, okay, it may not be, Todd Squad, it may not be a mechanical issue. It says the flight is diverting to Paris. Um, due to a medical emergency. Okay, 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 we can calm down, Tosqua. If Okay, update. It may be a medical emergency. Somebody may have uh, choked on a, a neck bone or something, anything. Heart attack, stroke, pregnancy. Okay, everybody, please calm down. We're going to land in Paris. We're going to land in Paris. You will deboard, and we will take care of the, the sick passenger, um, and then we will get you boarded on other flights to Atlanta. I wouldn't be getting on the next flight. My nerves would just be bad in general. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead. Is there a boat that can get me from Paris to damn Atlanta? Okay. All right. All right. All right. Okay, y'all. There we go. 
uh, listen, with these engines falling off and uh, 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 wheels falling off, Tasqua, we're just in a real, we're in a real, real, real tough time right now, Tasqua. Wheels falling off. Uh, uh, the engine cover falling off. Uh, they could have choked on a damn uh, uh, peanut or something. Tasqua, um, Emmanuel said he's going to give us the information about, um, He's going to give us the information about Walmart, and then I'll pass it along to you guys, okay? Um, okay, okay, that just broke, too. Okay, let me, this is, um, you guys remember the guy Jerry Harris from the show Cheer that was on Netflix? Remember, um, he was a cheerleader, the black guy, the black gay guy, and he was a cheerleader on Cheer. Well, uh, they say he's been ordered to pay $136,000 to his minor victims amid his 12-year prison sentence. Um, it was a really shocking thing because a lot of people like to show cheer and then come to find out he was, you know, touching the kids and stuff and touching the men and stuff. So, um, uh, okay. So, updated April 11th, Jerry Harris has been ordered to pay $136,000 in restitution to five of his underage victims nearly two years after he was sentenced to uh, 12 years on child P-O-R-N-O-G-R-A-P-H-Y charges, okay? Um, the former cheer star 24 has to, has to pay um, the judgment immediately per court docs. Um, what, what, he ain't got no damn... I can guarantee y'all he ain't got no hundred and thirty six thousand dollars. I'm just being honest. Let's just be honest. I'm not being messy. I promise you, I'm not being messy, Tasqua. But uh, old boy down there in Florida, he ain't got no seventy five thousand dollars, Tasqua. I promise you, I'm not being messy. I'm just being really frank because the Tasqua expects this out of me. Old boy down there in Florida, he ain't got no hundred thousand dollars to pay Bishop Felton. He don't. So I don't know why the judges be, you know, putting this kind of uh, uh, um, numbers over these people. You know that man ain't got nobody. Okay, where are we at, Tasqua? We got to get to the um, the Denver Nuggets player. Maybe we'll do that for uh, tomorrow. Can we find a story with the Denver Nug the Denver Nuggets player? Uh, if we can't find it, you know, we'll worry about it another time, Tasqua, because he says that um, he knows for a fact all of the players over there are freaks. He said they're dating guys and transgender people and stuff. And he didn't say transgender. He used a derogatory term. Okay. I have to get to that another time. That's why I can't find the story now. Uh, wait a minute. Let me see if I can pull it up this way. Um, I spend too much time in the air. I will go forth in a minute. He's with you, Crystal. The angels are sitting up under the plane. The angels, when you're on that plane, Crystal, because you are so loved and you're so anointed, the angels are holding the hey, The angels are holding the wings up like this. Well, my nephew Kevin is going here and there. The angels are holding the wings like this because they know a task squad member is on board. Whew. Ah, shabba b b b b d. Uh huh. Denver Nuggets was it the Denver Nuggets? Uh, what's another team? In, uh, was it the Denver Nuggets? The Denver Broncos? Uh, the Denver uh uh um. Neck bones? Okay, wait a minute. Denver Nuggets. Okay, wait a minute. Ah, uh, mm hmm Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, that's his name. His name is uh, Michael Porter. Hmm. Okay, there we go. I got the story. Good. Okay. Okay, good. Okay, there we go. Denver Nuggets player Michael Porter shares stories of NBA players uh, weird fetishes during podcast interview with Lana Rose. He said they're messing with transgenders and dudes. Okay, yeah, um, Brother Porter, Brother Porter, what um, the task squad is probably going to ask, how do you know? Porter is your type. I bet mean, he is. Uh, let me take a look at him. Open. No, continue with the browser. Oh, I'm not going to play no audio, baby. I'm not going to play no audio. Okay, let me see. 
Okay, I'm not doing all this. I'm not, if y'all don't have the story, I'm not going to do all this. I'm not going to play no audio. He's my type. Oh, wow. Are you still surprised a lot of people are DL at this point? Okay, sir, how do you know this? Um, the way you would be calling Jesus, I would like that mother. Uh, the way you would be calling on Jesus, I would be like the mother with the black hat. Right. Uh, Porter is spinning tea. Okay, Mr. Porter, we're going to have to move you to Friday night. We're going to have to move you to tomorrow night. You are like Lecrae and all these people. You know everything, but you wasn't there. You didn't see anything. You just know all the tea, but you didn't partake in none of these proclivities. Mm. Thank you, Emmanuel. Um, I'm going I'm to sign up for the settlement right now. Because if they giving out five hundred dollars, I want to be I want to be in the number. I will say this, Tasqua. I don't know why when you're sitting down with somebody during a podcast that this would be like something you would you know be like you know. I want to talk about everybody else's sex life and fetishes. Talk about your own fetishes. What are you like, Mister Porter? What turns you on? Do you like getting your toes sucked, your nipples pinched? What's your fetish? Let me get out of here, Ty Squad. We got a show to do. I got a lot to do between now and then. And then we'll be back um, for, we'll be back for Down at the Church, a special episode tonight, a special Thursday night episode. But yeah, you know, men live on the DL because there are so many societal factors. Nobody just wants to, you know, not be out and living their life. Nobody wants to, you know, Y'all know, Tosh Squad, a lot of people live in the closet because society, society, family, work. Um, that society, family, work, religion, the church. How is going uh, How is going back and look at his teammates after doing this? I don't know. And I got to get context. I don't know if he's speaking about basketball players that he knows from different teams or if he's talking about his teammates, right? So, um... So I got to get contacts. All right. Okay, so Ty Squad, what a wonderful day. What a beautiful day. It is crystal clear. It looks like 9-11 outside, y'all. Remember how it looked on 9-11? It just was just crystal clear that day. I'll never forget it. So that's the way it looks in L.A. I can talk about L.A. So um, I want to thank everybody that came by here uh, on this morning um, for this Thursday news drop. We will be live and in charge, live and in color. Can you please make sure you um can you please make sure Tasqua that you check um and, and make sure that your notifications are on. Don't reset them. Okay? Don't reset them. But just make sure that your notifications are on and uh know that we have a show coming up this afternoon, this evening rather, right? So we have a show coming on this evening. It's 238 here in the chat right now. All of you all know about it. So you know to look and check and make sure your reminders and things are on, okay? I think some of them uh, like the thrill of doing it in secret, honestly. Well, yeah, yeah. All right, Ty Squad, thank y'all so much. <laughs> let me, let, let, let's talk for a minute, Ty Squad. Let's talk for a minute. Let's talk for a minute. I got some time. I'm not. I'm not really in a rush to go nowhere right now. Mother got a little time on her hands. Okay. Um, it's not light all the way up. It is. Okay. I am. I am aware, and it doesn't really bother me. I am aware that you know a lot of people come here, and you know you don't have to be. Oh, I thought that was a horn. Listen, you don't have, I thought that was a car horn going off time squad. You don't have to, a part of being a part of the time squad, you don't have to, you know, be, what's the word I'm looking for? You don't have to be like, you know, show who you are to be a part of the time squad. I respect those that, you know, can't be, you know, completely, you know, Profile picture, full name, whatever you want to do, 
go by that. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want people to think, well, I can't, hold on one second. I can't, you know, even come in here and be an, uh, anonymous. Okay. Mm. You can. You can be anonymous. You can be anything you want to be. Okay. You can be anything you want to be. But let me say this to y'all. If I feel like you're a fraud, right, that's when my red flag start raising myself because you know, it's the girls that are usually this, you know, under these dummy pages. And when you are, when you, when I know how gay men talk, and when I know how the LGBTQ talk, and you're on a page that's different from that, you know what I'm saying? And I know how church people talk, and I know how secular people talk, and all of it doesn't match. It doesn't match your title. It doesn't match your name. It sends a red flag. And you are being deceptive. And when you're being deceptive, then I have the right to say, you know, girl, I don't really want your energy because, you know, those are the girls that are always doing too much and saying too much. If you're going to come in and you're going to be on your fake profile, I always just keep it cute so your profile will be able to stay in the chat if you follow me. Like if I'm here and I'm on a fake page because I can't let my current content creator know that I'm here. I'm under a fake page. I would always just keep it cute so that I don't raise any red flags. But then when you give away context clues and you give away, you know what I'm saying, you give away too much, then people start putting two to two together. Because I know how gay men talk. I know how, I know how women talk. I know how straight folks talk. I know the terminology. I do. I know how church folks talk, even the ones like Kim Burrell. I said all the time, like, girl, all you got to really do is just come in here and just really get, get somewhere and sit down somewhere. Girls come in three, four months and, you know, think they're, you know, think they're legacy members and get comfortable and get to cutting up. And then you see them and then they disappear from the chat. Uh, I thought the car home was back. I thought the car home was back too. Evidently, that was just somebody opening the, you know, the trunk. All we say is this: you're not, you don't have to be on eggshells. You don't have to be. I'm not a dictator. I'm really sweet, but I do try to keep my chat in focus, right? I try to keep this because you know these chats un. What's the word? Unmanned and untaken care of. Y'all see how they cut up on these other channels. I try to keep that at a minimum. It's distracting for me because when these girls are in the chat wilding and busting bottles, I got to jump in. So if I keep that to a minimum, I can focus on the content. Well, you can't control these. Yes, I can. Well, you know, Ty, you know, over time, it kind of stifles growth. Okay, well, we'll just take it one day at a time. We'll take it one day at a time. Um, well, you know, um, that other guy around there, he's not as half as talented as you, and he has a couple thousand more subscribers. Well, he has a uh, an old lady church blogger blogging his name on all her social media. I would too. You know that ain't those numbers are not based on talent. There's a lady that's an established church blogger that reblogs all of his stuff. I would have two or three thousand more subscribers too. That is not, those things are not based on talent or oil. Let's be clear. See, I wasn't going to try to go there because I don't like bringing third parties in. These girls, are, they're doing everything in their power to bring the old Thais out. I'm saved. If I had somebody, uh, uh, um, on an established church blogger, you know, Boosted my posts on all her social media. Hell yeah, I would have two or three thousand more too. Mm. Again, it does not translate to live viewers. It doesn't translate to live viewers though. That's the only problem. Girls have these subscriptions, and uh, uh, girl, where are the people that when you go live? Um, hell, what's her name around there? Uh, 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 I don't want to call her the other name. My former business partner. 
Honey, she got 1,500 damn subscribers and still got the same six people. That's that's an example. That's a master class on how numbers don't translate to damn live viewers. She got 1,500 subscribers and still, I stopped calling her that. They told me to call her my former business partner. So at the end of the day, Ty Squad, she got 100, or excuse me, 1,000. 500 subscribers, and she still got the same people, the same six people live. Now, on a good day, I have seen her go up to 13. You know, I, I have seen her go up to 13 on a good day, Ty Squad. I don't have no problems with these people. I don't. I don't want no smoke with these people. I don't have no, you know. People are really running around here talking about, I'm, I'm, I'm on verdict watch. Yeah, that bitch on verdict watch. She can't wait for um, Kelly Price, Burger King to lose in May. She can't wait. She on verdict watch. She gonna have a celebration watch. I, what type of sick bitch do y'all think I am? Somebody came here the other night talking about you are sick. Oh yeah, that bitch on Minnesota verdict watch. I've been watching that bitch. They talking about me. <laughs> they talking about me. Oh yeah, that bitch on Minnesota uh, uh, verdict watch. She can't wait for that shit to jump loose. She can't wait for that verdict to be handed down. And he, you know what I'm saying, wind up losing everything. He said he getting ready to move. He said, um, uh, uh, Kelly Price said she getting ready to get a, she ready to go MIA. I bet she is. She getting ready to move. You get ready to move, mama? Bro, that's a lot of fish tanks, honey. What's she going to do with all them fish tanks, though? That is a lot of fish tanks. <laughs> no shade, but like when you move and you got all them damn fish tanks, all them dogs, you got ducks. She, uh, what's that? What's that man, uh, Eddie Murphy? What's that man, uh, the character Eddie Murphy uh, with all the animals, Ty Squad? Girl, with Eddie Murphy, uh, damn, what was it called? With Eddie Murphy, all them damn animals. Uh, he gonna pull it up. <laughs> Stop. That was Dr. Doolittle. <laughs> Ty, what are you Guys, we're just having a little fun. We're on Thursdays. We're not pro we ain't bothering nobody. Uh she over there, you with Dr. Doodle. You got six dogs, 18 fish tanks, girl. I'm sorry, Time Squad. Uh no, no shade. That was my first thought, Kim Sims. Like, what did it smell like in there? <laughs> like right now, my house, I'm telling y'all, because I burn all these damn Yankee candles, even when the candles are not burning. My house still smells like that. And then I love this Thai spa. I just got this, right? Um, well, about a month ago, I started using this. It's $10. And I ain't going to lie. It's 10 bucks. Okay, but this is... Um, okay, I got to get the light out of it. This is Lysol's new air freshener, Thai spa. Not the, you know, the disinfectant you spray. Lysol now has an air freshener called air sanitizer. And it comes in... Um, like three different scents, Thai Squad. And I got the, the there's another one, it's like turquoise. And I tell y'all, my house just smells good all the <laughs> Why are, where y'all getting all these ooze from Dr. Doolittle? Okay. Okay, of course, Ray is, um, you know, about punctu punctuation and grammar. Okay. I've been screaming about that weed and dog food she brought for a couple of days. Like, what are you talking about, Gordon? I've been screaming about that weed and dog food she bought for a couple of days. Who? It was hard to move our 20-gallon tank never again. I don't know how he goes. What do you do like when you move and you got all of them fish tanks? What do you, what do you, okay, I guess you have to move the fish in some buckets or something. And then, you know, that is a lot going on, baby. That's a lot. That's just too, first of all, that's too many fish tanks. All you need really is one fish tank. I don't know. I don't know what Gordon, baby. Gordon got all these stories. Uh, that's too many fish tanks, honey. All you need is one fish tank. Yeah, this new Lysol. And the thing about it is, this is what they peed. It is light. It does not smell like Glade or Febreze. It's very, it's very light, y'all. So for those of y'all that don't like heavy scents, um, this is the way to go. And you spray it. And baby, your house, um, it, it purifies the air and gives a nice, pleasant scent. 
I thought they bought weed and dog food with that cash app. Oh, you talking about the little boy from National Geographic. Oh, I'm talking about Kelly Price. I'm talking about the Burger King guy. You talking about the little boy. Yes, I have that two times. Good, Gail. Okay. That's why I don't want no problems out of these people. <laughs> I don't. I don't want him to lose. I don't. You know, I don't want him to lose over there in Minnesota. But if he do, hold on. If he do um, happen to lose the case, you know, uh, he'll be okay. You know, you just have to, you just can't buy no property. You just can't buy anything. You know what I'm saying? Ty, do you have nicknames for us? Not really. Just a tie squad. Um, you know, you just won't be able to, you know, have anything for the rest of your life. Because whatever you get, whether it's a home or whether it's, you know, even if you pay off a car, you know, they can get, they can snatch that from you. They can. Have you ever gone to Kelly Price's Twitter and viewed his likes? No, I don't really, no, I haven't. I think I, I blocked him on Twitter. Uh, or I may be blocked on Twitter. I don't really go to um, this social media much. I don't. Um. Oh my God! Really? Let me see. I don't know. I think he may be blocked. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Uh, is is that bad? Ray? If Ray say somebody. Oh wait a minute. I don't think he blocked. Oh no, he not blocked. Okay. Uh, bro, nasty. Ew. What happened? Okay, I'm over there. I'm not blocked. I don't see nothing, Ray. Have you ever been to? Oh well, first of all, who are you talking about? Are you talking about the little National Geographic boy, or are you talking about, uh, uh, um, are you talking about Kelly Price? It depends. And if y'all don't know who we talking about, don't worry about it, baby. Uh huh, uh huh. I don't see anything. I just see, you know, regular. Who is Ray talking about, bro? Nasty. I don't see them a regular um pose. Ray be watching the like videos. I'm, I'm waiting to see what Ray talking about. Who is he talking about? Kelly Price or the National Geographic little boy? What he likes on Twitter, not his likes. Oh, okay, okay. I judge everybody based on what they like. Oh, well, let me see. Likes. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, 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 wait a minute. Oh, God. Oh, wait. Oh, man. Now, come on now. Oh, this is too much. Um, Some man is, uh, let me see here. Uh, some man is getting his whole plate with you. Oh, this is too much. That's why. Oh, my God. Uh, oh. Uh, uh, oh, mm. oh, no, 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 no. Ray. Uh, oh, this one boy got, um. Got, you know what I'm saying? Love juice coming out of his booty, pushing it out of his booty. Ooh. Okay. Okay, I'm done. Mm, ooh. Oh. And he's an elder. He's going to be an elder in the chat. Oh, Jesus. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, I'm done. That's disgusting. Ah, oh, your, your favorite church block is a freak. Oh, Jives. Damn. Ah. Oh. I don't want to see no more. And I'm an old freak. That was a bit much for me. Uh, I'm a freak from the I'm a, I'm a freak from the early 90s. And that was a bit much for me. That boy pushing it out, making a rose. Ew, ew. Uh, you know, Ray, I don't even do that, bro. I don't even. I never even thought that like I don't really hit people's likes. Let me go to my likes, honey. Let me see. Let me go to my own likes. Cause baby, let me see. Oh my God, can I check my own likes, Ray? I can. Let me see what I don't like. Uh oh. oh okay, I don't really. Yeah, okay, I don't really like a lot. Oh wait a minute, I did hit like on one of these. Oh wait a minute, let me let me unlike this. <laughs> Oops, I did hit like on something. I don't even check my own likes like that. Oh, let me unlike this. I did hit like on this. Oh my God. Okay, stop. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, that was one. I didn't hit like on something. Okay, I don't want nobody to think I'm nasty. 
Let me go through my own likes. Okay. Everything else is good. Okay. Okay. That is a good point, Greg. Check people's likes. You can see their personality. Good, good, good. Well, that was a that was an accident. I accidentally hit that. I'm sorry, Ty Squad. Oh, wait a minute, I got another one. Oh my god. Okay, wait. Oh, I'm like all of this shit. Wait, oh no. I don't want nobody to think I'm a I'm a district uh state district mother, honey. Okay, I think it was just them two. Oh no, wait, wait, stop. Oh no, oh okay, stop. Oh no. This is bad. It was just two or three. Okay, I think I got everything squared away. Good. Okay, good. It was just two. And those are all accidents, Ty Squad. It was just accidents. Paul told me to bookmark, not like. Oh, okay, okay. It was just two. Okay, and they were accidents. I accidentally hit like. Okay. I'm not, that ain't me. I gotta go through all this shit, honey. Oh, thank you, Ray. I gotta go through all this shit. Let me see. I'm still scrolling. What year am I in? 2022. Let me keep going. Keep going, keep going. Everything looks good. Everything looks good. I want nobody to think I'm some nasty slut. Some, some this nasty bitch. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, everything still looks good. I'm in still 22. Okay, keep scrolling, Thais. Keep scrolling. Keep scrolling. Okay, I think we're good to go. Um, I've always followed him. Uh-huh. Keep scrolling. Keep scrolling. Okay, I think we're good to go. Now I know, honey. Stop hitting like on this shit. Mm-hmm. Um, mm. Okay, I'm good to go. Now I'm and I'm I'm a saint. Y'all going through your <laughs> now I'm back to being a saint uh that walks on water. Okay. I'm just still scrolling a little bit. Okay, everything it was just two lights. Um mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, I'm in 2021. I think I'm good to go. I'm a 2021. Uh, I I follow him. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I do follow him. Uh huh. Uh, the boy from um, Baldwin Hills. I do follow him. His name is Mariah. I think he's cute. Okay, Mariah. He's a gardener. He grow, he grows stuff and should he be gardening and stuff. So I did like a lot of his stuff. Okay, wait a minute. Um. Okay. Oh no. Oh, here go another one. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Okay. I think we're good to go. But listen, we're all adults in our tie squad. We're all adults, but you don't want people to think that you just a you don't want people to think you're just a nasty ass freak. The Twitter is on his website is not his real account. The Twitter on his website is not his real account. Okay. I'm trying to find the one y'all are looking at. Oh, okay. Mm, interesting. Um, but yeah, Ty Squad. I love everybody. I love everybody. I don't want I don't want nobody to go through anything unnecessarily. I don't. I want everybody to have a great life. I have a tender stomach and soul. I can't see it. I know. I know. We're gonna start voting again for um the Gospel Choice Music Awards Tie Squad. Um, I think it opens. Oh my god, is it the 14th? We're gonna be back voting again. You're only gonna allow to vote one time. Uh, and our justice for and our justice for Michelle Holly campaign. So the gospel um gospel choice awards. Okay, so voting will open. Um, okay, wait a minute. When will the voting open? I think it's gonna be on the fourteenth. That's why. Yeah, it's gonna be on the fourteenth. So yeah, we're gonna keep on keep on voting, and then we'll be voting for our sister Michelle Holly um, Justice, right? So um, the voting platform will reopen on April fourteenth, right? And so we'll make sure to have all that information up so that we can make sure that somebody that disrespected Michelle in such an egregious way do not be rewarded with a gospel music award, right? So. Um, yes, thank y'all so much um, for participating. Um, and, you know, we do believe he is behind the friend request, that DJ man. We believe he's behind all of a lot of this shit that's going on around here. So, um, so yeah, we want to make sure that he is um, 
not rewarded. Uh -huh, we want to make sure he is not rewarded. Good morning, RJ. Tell us why did you enjoy today's um, Thursday news? Did you enjoy this? If so, can you do me a big favor and hit the like button as we get ready to get out of here? If you enjoyed this Thursday news, the mess, the tea, the shade, if it made a, a, um, a bright spot in your morning or afternoon, that was my goal. So can you please hit the like button on your way out? I'm about to eat breakfast, watch the view, start producing tonight's show, um, and all of that good stuff. So make sure you hit the like button, thumbs up, thumbs up. Also, Ty Squad, if you want to support this platform, you may do so right here at Ty E76. We are live this evening. I'm going to put the, as soon as this video concludes, you will see the date and the time, which is today, for Down at the Church, right? It's a special episode tonight. So as soon as this concludes, you'll see the thumbnail for tonight, okay? I love you guys. From the bottom of my heart, I love you. And I thank you for all that you do. And for everybody, I want you to know that you are, you're welcome here. You're welcome here. This is a safe space. Um, if I'm a little authoritative with my chat and with my, you know what I'm saying, people is because um, I want to try to run a tight ship as far as not allowing people to come in with ill intentions to the best of my ability. And if you, and if you're too ashamed to come here under your real name, you know what I'm saying? Because you may be on another content plate, another content creator's role. If you're too embarrassed to use your real identity, then just stay with your content creator. Don't come over here and then try to get messy and got try to get cute at the same time. You can come and be anonymous, but keep it cute in the chat. You know? This, it makes sense. Like, don't come and you're already in here under disguise, and then you try to be cute. I'm not that girl. I'm not. Or stay in the bushes or do what you have to do. But if you want to come out and you want to be anonymous and you want to be on the dummy page, have at that. But girl, keep it cute. And if you're gonna if you're gonna have a title uh, like Lady of Lady of Glory or Man of of of, of the Spirit, don't talk like somebody of the world. You know, don't talk like you know one of the kids, because it gives you it breaks your cover. Okay, Ty Squad, we out of here. <laughs> I love y'all. At least honey go somewhere and sit down. You know, don't get too cute. Don't and don't get cute with mother. You get cute with people in the chat, the mods if you need to. Listen, because they're gonna lay your ass out. But please don't get cute with the queen. I promise you, this ain't what you want. Um, because you'll be getting that email and it said that uh, you <laughs> You begin to email saying your services are no longer needed. I love y'all. Thank y'all so much. And you can have dual memberships. You can go right into that messy old punk. You can go to his page. You know, a lot of times why I remember saying this is really boring, mother. I don't watch it. You know, if you want to go watch that shit, go watch it. You want to go watch Kelly Price, go watch it. If you want to watch, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, Miss Thing right there with her six viewers, ain't nobody watching that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ain't nobody watching that. But if you wanted to go around there and watch it, trust my members, you're more than welcome. I don't dictate where my followers can go. You know, I, I don't dictate. But, you know, do what you have to do, Toss Wise. All right. Ain't nobody watching that shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> I be want to reach out to them people so bad around there. There's two guys right there. I want to reach out to them so bad. Like, bro, I can help y'all. I can help y'all get an audience. Don't. Why are y'all paying? Why are y'all paying this money like to, for years and years and y'all are not getting nothing out of it? Maybe they know it's a streaming service. I want to be like, like, bro, come over. Let us help you. We can get you an audience. We really can. The Thai Squad will help you and cultivate. It's like, why are y'all around there wasting that damn money like that? Like, I don't understand it. This is not be, This is not me being, you know, offensive or doing anything to her, her business or her brand. This is based on my experience as a former client. To be clear, you know, girls are trying to, you know, <laughs> this is my experience based on being a former client. It's like when you leave a Yelp review online, that's why. Or it's like when people on LinkedIn share, you know. 
I don't understand. Like, girl, you, ain't nobody watching. Why would you just sit there and just languish away? You see, ain't nobody watching. That's why I left. Well, for multiple reasons. You know, I, I just, why do y'all think that, Tasquad? Why? why do you think people would just stay and you see your channel is not growing, you see your brand is not growing? Is it loyalty? Because I was really like stuck, like being loyal, like I don't want to leave. I don't want to leave because I don't, you know, I don't want to be the girl to leave. Why would somebody stay with something and it's not it's not benefiting you? Like you're not getting any growth or anything. You see the live numbers. One person is watching, maybe two on a good day. Why would somebody just stay and just, I don't know. I have to ask myself that too. Does anybody know? That's why. I'm speaking as a former client, not as a private citizen. I, I just, I don't know. I don't know, but I would love to reach out to a couple of those guys, but I don't, it's not even worth it and tell them, baby, listen, I have, you know, people that will really tune into your show and help you get your numbers up. We help you with your subs. You know what I'm saying? What kind of contracts are they signing? Child, listen, I... <laughs> Motown, Motown, like, I don't know, but I'm just saying, that's why I don't want to, if you want to go around there and join, feel free to go around there and join, but I'm just saying, I, I, as a former client, speaking my perspective as a former client, it just, it did nothing for me. It did nothing for me. Um, Bill, it did nothing for me. Uh, all of my followers, I generated on my own. I did, I, you know, I did. Cause the way I look at it is, is that if they were doing something for me, like growing my platform, your platform will be growing along with mine. You see what I'm saying? So if my platform is growing, then if you're doing that for me, your platform will be growing probably, you know, as well. And their platform didn't grow until I laid them all out. And then somebody came in and started helping them with their numbers. Because, honey, those numbers were at the same spot for over a year. And as soon as I started wearing the asses out, basically, like, telling my experience of what I went through, then somebody came in, Ty Squad. And, and it wasn't that my – it wasn't that what I was saying was affecting those numbers. Because the numbers were that way when we were on good terms, right? So it wasn't what I was saying was affecting – their numbers. Their numbers were flat the whole tenure of my stay. What I'm saying is, is that after we had our falling out, that's when somebody came in. You know, somebody, one of them people came in and said, well, let me just share this, you know, and then their numbers started going up, right? But um, I don't want to go around there to that mess. Child, listen, it's just, I feel sorry for them people. I was once one of them. You know, I was—I just feel sorry for them. I really do, like, because they don't know. They don't know. It's never going to get better. Those numbers are never going to grow. They're not. My numbers grew organically based on my talent. But them people, they have no clue, baby. It's a dead end. And when I say dead end, I mean a dead end based on my experience with that brand. This is my experience, my opinion based on what I experienced at that particular situation time squad. So um, there's nothing I can do about it. It's nothing I can do other than, you know, just say, hey, I wish them the best. I wish everybody the best. But, you know, everybody has an awakening or they come to some type of, you know, just like, you know, what's his name? Um, Big boy from Cincinnati, he uh, he ain't around there time squad. So he uh, got, off the, got off the train. You know, the cake baker from Cincinnati, he got off the train. So People do eventually wake up, but shit, sometimes it just takes a minute, Ty Squad. Like, and then girl, you're gonna go, then you're gonna go and get, you're gonna go and get uh, uh, um, the peanut headband as your co host. Like, if you already, and this is no shade, Ty Squad. This is no shade, but it could be. If you're already boring, do I have some permission to share some breaking news? OJ Simpson is dead and a plane. I had to make an emergency landing. Is there something else other than that uh, more than determined? 
Is it something other than that? O.J. Simpson is dead, and a plane had the uh, emergency landing. There was a shooting in Philadelphia. Is it something else? Uh, if it's something else, uh, what is it? Okay, go. What else, else is it? I'm going to get back to my point. Uh, more than determined. Okay, we're going to wait for more than determined. What is it uh, more than determined? What do you have, baby? Talk to us. Normally, we ask that you send it to our email or our inbox, Facebook or IG. What do you have more than determined? Tell us what you have. Do I have permission to share some breaking news? Yeah, share it with us now. That's it, love. So, more than determined, you thought that I didn't know the OJ Simpson? <laughs> you thought that I didn't know the OJ Simpson was dead? I know y'all don't mean no harm, but yeah, y'all got to know I am Tyese Jackson. I am Tyese Jackson. We're here because of OJ Simpson. <laughs> Okay, so to the boy, uh, to the guy around there, if you're already boring, if you already have no personality, why would you go and get Mr. Peanut Head Man, who has the personality of cold lasagna? If you have the personality of cold, if you have the personality of cold dressing, why would you then go get the, the guy that has the personality of cold lasagna? What are you trying to have? A cold potluck? A cold YouTube potluck, like both of y'all together, is like z -Quil. Oh, my God. It's, it, I can't. I, I'm sorry, y'all. I got to. Oops. Okay. All right. There we go. Uh, I got to go, Tasquad. I came in here all day. Uh, more than determined, we thank you for thinking enough of me to want to share the breaking news. But remember, Tasquad, I am the content. Uh, I don't know. Like. It, it makes no sense to me, Tyese Jackson, why you would go and get, you know, this guy and y'all sit up there together and they just think they eating it. <laughs> y'all think y'all are eating it. Uh, Ty, I just found out you're right. You're the queen of the night. I'm sorry. No, you'll have to be sorry. It's just I knew probably that's what you were going to say. But we, yeah, we, we, we broke the news. Uh, in the opening of this show. You can play it back. We love you more than determined. Um, and they be over there thinking they eat it. Hey, queen. Hey. <laughs> watch that shit, y'all. Watch it. Go watch it. He be over there thinking he eating it. Hey, queen. Production. <laughs> stop. Y'all gotta watch this shit. Stop think I'm lying. Y'all gotta stop thinking I'm just doing this to these people. He be over there talking about, oh, we have breaking news, Samuel. Samuel just downloaded something. Hey, queen. <laughs> hey, king. <laughs> like, hey, king. Hey, queen. <laughs> to my followers, my, for my former followers. So like, hey, queen. Hey, king. And, and, and Mr. Peter man be over there, hey, everybody, hi. Hey. <laughs> I'm like, I'm done. I can't do this. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm going. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Let me get out of here. I'm gonna get in trouble. Uh one eight hundred flowers. Who is this? Uh, is this Matthew? Honey, I don't want you no more. Oh, I, I didn't use my um. Oh, I didn't use my coupon. One eight hundred flowers. I had sent some flowers to um. I had sent some flowers to Cedric's boyfriend when his mother passed away. And um, and then they were late delivering the flowers, and they gave me a twenty percent coupon, and I still haven't used that coupon. Oh, but I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna I'm gonna send some flowers. I'm gonna send some flowers. Oh, I didn't use it when I sent my neighbor the damn flowers. I forgot about that coupon. That's why I forgot. I thought that was Matthew sending me something. Child, I don't want your ass. Thank you, Jamie P, um, for um the cash app. Okay, y'all. I love y'all. We can get out of here. I've been messy. I've been too messy. I've been way too messy today, Time Squad. I've been too messy. I gotta get out of here. I gotta go. I gotta get the show together for tonight. Uh, Time Squad, have a wonderful day on purpose. Remember, stay in peace, not in pieces, okay? You have to be very confident to have that much energy 
in the camera for six people or do well i think there's a delusion stay in peace not in pieces know that i love you and i will see you tonight yeah either that or just something just off because i'm telling y'all when y'all look send them to oj family <laughs> i'm telling y'all when y'all look at that boy you can see he's a little off like the way he <laughs> I'm telling y'all, look at him. Just watch him. Watch the, the guy. You know, I don't want to use the S word, but watch him. You can see he's a little off. Just watch. Just pay attention. He'd be like, hey, everybody. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> I'm telling you, mother is touch, y'all. I kid you not. When you can make up a lie the way he made up that lie on me on the spot, y'all, and said it with a, like, and then he thought about it in real time and said, allegedly. And then come back and apologize and then give a, a the most horrible apology in American history. And then move on from that and just move on with your life. I'm telling y'all, that is sociopathic behavior to me. I'm sorry. That means you don't feel, you don't have the capacity to feel the hurt that you instilled on me. You have no clue. You have no clue. You have no compass of hurt when other people that's sociopathic to me it is i'm sorry if you can't feel even me even me like sometimes i'll just say man i shouldn't have went too hard on these people that's you should have that but when you lie on somebody like that and be like well i already said I, I, that's it i'm not saying it again but her ego has caused her to not do a proper apology. It's her ego. She feels like I've drug her too much to have a proper apology. And see, that's something that she has to deal with with God. That's her personal walk with God that causes her not to be able to be convicted or feel contrition. That's something she has to talk with her pastor about. See, I, I can't I can't deal with that with her. That's her personal walk, right? Hey, woman, uh, Wonder Woman 1921. All right, Ty Squad, I got to go. Let me get out of here before I get in trouble. I'm already in trouble. I love y'all. Bye. See y'all tonight.